Hey, good afternoon. Wanted to make a quick tutorial to show some of my friends how Reflector app works and how to get started with Reflector on your MacBook. Down here at the bottom of the screen, you see the Reflector icon. I added it to my dock. I'm going to click on it to start the app up. The only change you'll notice when you do that is up here at the top, you see the Reflector menus come up. These are the menus with options that will help you um, connect to your device and basically turns your Mac into an AirPlay ready device. I'm going to fire up my iPad, handy dandy iPad here, and swipe up from the bottom to get to my settings. There it is. Turn on AirPlay, select my computer and mirroring, and here we go. All right, now that we got the iPad up on the screen, I wanted to show you exactly what I did to get to that point just a second ago. I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get to my controls. There they are, right down here at the bottom. You can see I'm connected to the name of my computer. It's got a funny name, but I'm connected to that computer now. If I were to tap on it, I could turn off the mirroring settings. Oh, then I'm gone. <laughs> but when I turn it back on, it should come right back up. This is how you get your iPad to connect to your Mac. Now the neat thing about Reflector is you can see everything that's happening on your iPad on your computer screen or your computer that's hooked to your projector that you're showing to your class. You can walk through and show them how to work different apps on your iPad or any type of tutorial that you would like them to see that's on your iPad. The neat thing about Reflector is again that it's wireless and you can be anywhere in the room as long as you have a strong enough internet signal. Reflector is one of the best apps I think I have for my iPad or my iOS device and you can record demos for students in apps you can go ahead and show them tutorials you can pretty much control your computer from your iPad from anywhere in the room which helps engage your kids more and you know what allows you to use proximity to help control your class more alright to turn it back off you swipe up from the bottom and you'll see your settings come up down here on your iPad there they are and you can Turn off AirPlay just by tapping on it, and the menu will come right back up. And that's how you can get started with Reflector. Um, Reflector is available online, and it's a great tool for teachers to use in their classrooms or anyone who wants to make demos or show anything about their iPad or hooking their iPad up to their computer wirelessly. Check out Reflector in the App Store. Thanks for watching.